In the last episode, we showed how to do the estimate from a spreadsheet. In this episode, we will show you how to connect a radio button on Google Web App. For this, we will take the radio button format from Material ICSS. Let's get started with HTML programming. First, we will take a div, which class will be row. Inside this, we will take another div, whose class will be input field column 4. Then take a paragraph like select your fruits color. We will copy the language markup of our desired radio button from Material ICSS and paste it in our HTML page and below this paragraph. Let's change the name as option and add a value. Now we copy this part and paste four times to create four radio button. Their names will be the same but the values and span will be different. Let's save it and see with new deployment. See, our radio buttons are ready. Now we will do the JavaScript programming to send its value to the spreadsheet. We don't need to do any programming on CSS space. We will take a variable under user data which will only carry the value of the selected name. In the code.css space, now the data of this variable has to be connected in the app row as an additional data. Again, save this space and do the new deployment.
Now our radio buttons are active. Ok, fill up this form with some data. And click the submit button. See the value of the radio button has moved to the specific cell of the spreadsheet. In this way, we can easily create the radio button in the Google web app and save the value to the spreadsheet. In the next episode, we will show you how to connect picture in the Google web app from Google Drive. Until then stay well and stay healthy and yes, don't forget to subscribe my channel.